Welcome to Excel 2010 Sharing Workbooks. I'm Trainer Lori. What is Sharing Workbooks? Rules and limitations of allowing two or more users to work in the same workbook at the same time. Ongoing changes. Ongoing sharing. When can you share? When they have access to my network. When they have Excel. And I may or may not know who they are. Here's a point for SharePoint users. You cannot post on SharePoint when a file is in share mode. However, an Excel file on SharePoint can be shared with 10 simultaneous users without changing any settings. Before sharing, make all the structural changes you plan to make. You cannot make these structural changes while the workbook is shared. If you want to make them, you'll have to unshare or stop sharing uh, to make these changes and then start sharing again. There's three options to share. But first, save the file on a shared drive. Then go to the Review tab and either choose Share Workbook, Protect and Share Workbook, or Track Changes. First, let's look at Share Workbook. When you do that, there's a check that says Allow Changes by one or more user at the same time. This also allows workbook merging. And it'll tell you who has the workbook open now. You can have up to 256 people using the document at the same time and it will say this action will now save the workbook. Do you want to continue? The second option is under Review, Protect, and Share Workbook. And when you do that, make sure you click the Share Sharing with Track Changes. And the third option is under the Review tab called Track Changes. And when you do that, it will ask what changes would you like to highlight. Track Changes while editing. This also shares your workbook. Make sure that that's checked. So three options. To limit who will have access to the document, in Windows Explorer, right-click on the name of the document, choose Properties, and then under the Security tab, choose Edit. And that's how you can change permissions of who would have permission to open it. So now FRED and PTS both have the document open. They both have access and they both have it open. So we have two users and one customer list. FRED and PTS both see the contact name. FRED makes a change. He changes the contact name. When will PTS see the change? When they hit save. When they hit save, it automatically refreshes. You can choose it to do it based on time instead of the save button. Later I'll show you how to do that. Now PTS sees the update and you can see it's marked. They don't always have to be marked. That's an option that you have. But this one says it's marked and your spreadsheet has been updated with changes saved by other users. You can have 32,767 cell changes. Now Fred sees changes by PTS, and when Fred sees the change, he sees them as red, where we saw PTS saw the changes as blue. There can be 32 color choices. You get to choose if you want to see change highlights, whose changes you'll see, how long you want the change highlighting to appear, if you want to view change comments, and if you want to save a list of all the changes. To find advanced features, click Track Changes, Highlight Changes, and make sure you're on the Advanced tab. You can keep the change history for 30 days or 32,767 minutes. You can update changes every uh, when the file is saved or automatically every so many minutes. You can have 5 to 1,440 minutes. And when conflicting changes between users, you can ask me which changes win or the changes being saved wins. To resolve conflicts, to ask me, you'll, you get to see the conflict. Somebody made this change to that cell and somebody else made this change to that cell. Which one wins, me or the others? Under Review Track Changes, we chose to highlight changes, and this is one of the ways we could turn it on. But we also have three options, when, who, and where. Highlight changes when. When, and you can choose, since I last saved, all changes, those not yet reviewed, or since a specific date. Highlight changes who, everyone, or everyone but me, or the other two people who've had the document open. Highlight changes where, you would use um, the collapse button and go find the specific cells that you want to watch. For example, let's say that um, it's a budget and I just want to see if any changes were made to my portion of the budget. You can also choose to highlight the changes on the screen. This is where you can show it or not. So if it's checked, you'll actually see it, and if it's not checked, you won't see it. 
and if you choose list changes on a new sheet it creates this sheet that has a filter on it and I can now check and just see the changes based on ranges or who did it. And then under the review tab under track changes you can choose to accept or reject changes. So you can choose to uh, accept or reject based on when, who, or where, just like before. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us.